Well, it's Monday morning, and uh, carpenters are here doing some work. There's Bo. Got back in late last night, and um, well, this is our first walk since Thursday. So I'm pretty sure she still knows how to do it. <clears throat> what are you eating? <clears throat> Very vicious this morning. Um, ow! Whoa! Whoa! Haha! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a Monday, 9.15 a.m., 49 degrees, but sunny. There's a pretty good shot of the nuclear power plant right there. There's a good shot of Bo. Um, we're going to take her out for a little walk. Um, she's already pooped twice today, so this is just for general fun and exercise. Those are new, I think. Some kind of animal. Some kind of burrowing animal, Bo. Yeah, she found herself a McDonald's cup, which she thinks is a dog toy. Um, yeah, I don't think she's going to actually eat it. I think she's just going to crinkle it a little bit. Uh, hey, Bo. Oh. Oh. Too slow. Too slow. Come on. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Here she comes. There she is. That's a good looking stick, Bo. I'm not gonna take it from you. Actually, maybe I will. No, I guess I can't. Whoa, there you go. Go get him. There she goes. Well, there's Bo. It's 49 degrees. It's still Monday, 5:30. Uh, we've actually been swimming today, although I didn't record it because my phone was being swapped over. 
and it was taking a long time so we went to the river and it was really interesting she uh broke her leash not this one but another one of the exact same size um it broke right at the knot so apparently knots do make nylon webbing less strong um can i have that end bow bow can i have that end please whoa oh whoopsie daisy that was a success hold up bow it's kind of full uh, get in there ah uh, yuck okay Well, it's Tuesday morning and 36 degrees. <clears throat> Jump. And there's Bo. He's gonna walk on the plywood and rub her head on it. Come on. Well, there's Bo. It is a uh, 59 degrees, and sometime Tuesday morning, I'm guessing around 10. Um, we just did her weekly weigh-in. She is now 56 pounds, um, and. I want to walk a little bit this way because we're still right at where the big trucks are pulling in. So uh, maybe if I can get her to come this way. Bobo! Come on! Bo! Here she comes. All right, let's roll. Go. Start your walk. Come on. Seriously? Oh! She's grabbing at the leash that's in my pocket. So I figured out yesterday she broke that leash, but leash, but I don't think it was the knot. I think it's because uh oh. nice little run, Bo. Yeah, she just stopped and started rolling around on the asphalt, which is something I've never seen her do. So she must have some kind of itch. Now she did go swimming yesterday, so maybe she's still recovering from that. You should look at all these birds. Oh my gosh. Now she knows better than to go through that barbed wire fence. That's the Hampered site. They say that's the most uh, contaminated place on Earth, but it's really not because most of the uh, radioactive waste are on these giant tanks. So um, 
I don't even think it has that much radioactivity compared to other places like uh, shallow fields in England. <clears throat> Well, I don't know. Hamper's got a ton of cesium, that's for sure. Okay, here she comes. Well, it's about uh, 5.30 and it's 58 degrees. Um, there's Bo. Um, she hasn't been eating much because I've stopped putting cheese and other weird items in her dry food because it got to the point where she would just high grade the good stuff out and leave the dry food. So now she's eating um, napkins, trash, just foraging um, generally. But gotta get her, get her back weaned on the dry food. She's not a baby anymore, but she really likes spray cheese on her food. <clears throat> Still give her smoked meats on the weekends, I guess. But, anyways, uh, we're gonna walk down the cougar. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. She's walking really good. I think she might be getting tired. Probably done, what, at least five miles today? But let me show you how slack a leash can get. See that? Look how slack that is. Yeah. Get my hand out of the way there. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Easy, Bo. Bo, easy. Easy. Oh. Easy. Okay. Ow. Bo, Bo. Easy. Easy. Drop the leash. Come on. Drop the leash. What happened here? Oh no. No, no. Don't try to make it worse. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh. Well, I could summarize today's progress here at the job site. Looks like they removed some excess lumber, um, which I thought they might, because there's a lot of lumber here yesterday, and it looks like most of the lumbering is done. Uh, they also did some what looks like exploratory examination of the siding removal portion of the job. That's the insulation of my house. It consists of this thin aluminum foil. Uh, so at least one wall will be insulated. Well, two walls. I might end up just moving here in the garage for the winter. And then yeah, that debris pile is still about the same. And the dog fence is still intact for now. So I'd say that's good progress, Bo. I'd say that's really good progress. Well, it's a free food Tuesday, apparently. Start. Uh, Tom made some uh, venison stew and dropped by after work and grabbed a bucket of it from him. And then, um, Put a little bit of the gravy in the chunks in Bo's bowl to encourage her a little bit. Now this is healthy and she probably will eat it pretty good. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow, look how dirty my floor is. Huh. Interesting. Um, and then Carol just dropped, dropped by uh, two. Um, muffins with oranges and cranberries in them. So, um, this is the dog spray cheese, which we're no longer using for now. 
Well, all right, let's have a closer look. Is that any good, Bo? You like venison? It smells pretty good. Oh yeah. Well, it's uh, 6.30 on uh, Wednesday, 48 degrees, and we're going on our pre-work walk uh, with Bo there. <clears throat> oh, that's me. And this is where she's been pooping now. The house is vacant. The uh, landlord, my neighbor calls him the slumlord, uh, kicked out the two tenants and he's gonna get some new tenants in so he can charge more rent. <clears throat> Gave him a two weeks eviction notice and yeah, because one of the ladies who was evicted, uh, was evicted, she couldn't rent another place here in town, which sounds pretty messed up. <clears throat> but maybe we don't know the whole story. All right, Bobo? And also it's none of our business. The only business now we have is Bo doing her business. <clears throat> Which she hasn't done. <laughs> Alright, here we are at the levee. And some business is about to be done. Which is great news for Bo. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. got in the bag <clears throat> but now we're gonna head up to the uh, first municipal trash can take care of this <clears throat> Hold up, Bo. Yep, yeah, there's a bow eye view of the river. I think the sun's about to come up, but let's let her run free for a little bit, see what she does. <clears throat> now, I don't think she'll go swimming. Not at this hour. <clears throat> Now this is typical, <clears throat> as you can see, kind of eating some grass. <clears throat> I gave her a bunch of peas last night, thinking she needed more vegetables. Oh, vegetables, that was a bird. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is unexpected. Um, so she went twice, which is good. I gotta sit on a two hour conference call in a few minutes. And so I can just lock her in the office and not worry about her having to go number two. Um, so that's good. But I also gotta feed her breakfast. I'm trying to delay her breakfast, and not feed her at 5.30 in the morning because she's not eating much breakfast. So I figure if I feed her at 7.20, that'd be a better deal for her. Um, but she did gain half a pound last week, so I know she's not starving. Oh. But I don't want her to, oh, leave that bow. Is that poop? Oh yeah. Okay, now we're approaching Harley's house. Hey, Bobo, come on.
I hope that she probably is not awake. Well, I'm sure she's awake. I hope that she's not on the porch. No, I don't see her. That's good. <clears throat> Game over if she's outside. Okay, come on, come on. Nope. Bobo. Bo. 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 Load up. Bo, load up. Load up. Bo, load up. Bobo. Bo. <clears throat> hey, Bobo, load up. Load up. Load up. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Okay. There she comes. Good girl. She's trying to run away from me. Um, hey, Bo, come here. Come here. Come on. Here. Come on. I'm not going to yell at you. Come on. Bo. Come here. Come on. Yeah, you're gonna get a bu bunch of thorns in your paws. Oh no. Come on, here. <whistles> See, I've trained her to, when I say the word here, she just runs away. She hates that word. So, it's definitely going to be shock collar weekend, I think. This is the area where she choked on that giant bone when she was three months old and vomited it out nearly died nearly lost her so now we're gonna play this game um, which was not scheduled so we'll see if I can get her Bo, come on. Oh! My only hope is to chase her back in the right direction. Or maybe she'll come. Hey! Oh, nope. You see how she just runs away? Pretty incredible. Uh, uh, maybe she knows this is her second to last day of estrus based on the 21 day rule and she wants to find another dog. Or maybe she just, oh, thank God she didn't see that. A dead ma mouse. Um, hey, Bo, come on back. Bo, Bo, hey, Bo, ah, uh, come here, Bo, come here, Bo, 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 come here, please. Nothing. Come here. Whoa! Right here. Come here. Okay. Got her back on the leash. Yep. She loves digging out the back end of the silica sand pile, but I don't want to encourage play in this area because of all the bones. Come on, Bo. Come on. Come on. Come on. I find I can control her a little bit better with the leash. Come on. There she goes.
Well, there's Bo. Now it's after work. And we're walking down to Hardy's house. I sent Sharon a text, but she didn't text me back. Um, so, I don't know what we do. We just knock on the door maybe, or just kind of walk up on the river until she realizes that, that we're ready and then come back. Uh, or maybe Harley will be out. Sometimes she's usually out. I don't see her though. That's where I'm looking, right there. Well, the house is kind of spooky. Okay, hold up, Bo. Let's take you off the leash. But stand down. Bobo, Bobo, stand down. Stand down. Bo? Bo. Bo? Bo? Stand down. <clears throat> Bo. Bobo. It's getting worse. She's getting worse. All right. Well, maybe she'll knock on the door. Well, Harley was home. So they haven't seen each other for a week. This is probably the longest they've been apart. In their lives. Well, 40 minutes later, we are um, gonna walk along the levee a little bit. We're gonna walk along the levee a little bit and see if you have to poop in your favorite place. And she did. Good girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Bo. Easy. Okay. Okay, good job. That was good. Oh. Ah. Ah. Well, it's Thursday morning, about 6.45. Um, there's Bo, and we haven't quite made it to the levee yet, but we got one poop in hand, looking for another one here pretty soon. Um, huh. Look at those strong shoulders. Oh, you're a strong dog. Well, yeah, she is. She broke that leash earlier this week, which was a feat of strength I've never seen from her. Um, <clears throat> all right. Oh, 53 degrees, which is uh, kind of balmy for this time of year. So, <clears throat> that was pretty nice. I hope that we can go swimming this weekend if it's... What is that? Mushrooms? Oh yeah. Wow. Let's get away from there. Come on. Come on. Bobo. Some mushrooms are poisonous to dogs. All right. Whoop. Yeah, you don't like those, do you? Okay.
Go get it, Bo. What are you doing? That's the only stick we have, Bo. <laughs> uh. Try again. Go get it, Bo. Oh, that was so weak. Well, that was not much of a swim, but it was fun anyway. It was worth a try. Um, now it's about 7.20, and i got a feeder and try to make it to the office before 8. Uh, got the fellas getting ready to mix up a refractory for the next uh, test we're doing. And I always like to be involved in that because it's fun. Oh, I almost forgot about the poop. Okay. That's the second poop, by the way. So, all right. <clears throat> Easy. That's Brea's house, that black dog. Hey, Bobo. Oh, that's the vomit. No, no, stay away from the vomit, please. Leave it. Don't jump out of that. Leave it. Oh, gross. Okay, come on. Bo, let go, please. Bo, let go. Oh. Look at that. She's just out of control. Uh. Oh, stop it. Hey, drop the leash. Drop the leash. Drop the leash, Bo. Hey, Bo, drop. Hey, drop the leash. I can stay here all day. You want me to just wait it out? No, Bo, you need discipline? Come on. Okay. That's pretty good. Really good. Keep after yeah, it. Nice. Real good. Walking here a little while, okay. Well, it's 10:30 on Thursday, and there's Bo. Uh, it's 59 degrees. It was funny. She was walking real funny, like she was injured or something. And then, uh, and then she pooped. Now she's fine. So sometimes she walks real fast, and then sometimes she almost limps. And both are signs of um, uh, her need to to evacuate her bowels. So, so every day you learn something about this here dog. Um, right now it looks like she's chewing on uh, some grassy material. There she is. Thought she was going to get me there. More like it, Bo. Here she comes. Well, this here's the end of the line, so we'll be heading back here pretty soon. Uh, yeah. Okay. What is that you got there, Bo? It was a pretty fun experience for Bo. Uh, she immediately didn't really take to him. 
But then uh, she got over that initial fear. And then I took the time to explain to him that's not our poop. That's sometimes out on the road. And he seemed happy about that. Uh, okay, come on. It's gonna be late. Ain't really no problem. Yeah. I guess I'll just put it right down here to minimize chances of running over sprinkler heads, which I've been known to do. Well, it's Thursday afternoon. This is the uh, first inspection, which looks like we failed. So there'll be corrections to be made. Apparently there wasn't enough nailing in the wall. So we're gonna see if we can identify that. Come on, Bo, Bo, Bo. Every three inches. There's a nail. There's a nail there. Yep, looks like there's a nail every five inches. So double up on the nails there so there's nail every two inches there huh okay yeah those extra nails will be extra good bow hey come on nope we'll go to Harley on the way back walk with me I know you want to go down there come on I'd like to put a little mileage on her also get a poop or two out before we visit with Harley. So she's super tired and, oh, that's a rock. And then so we have the poop situation taken care of. I mean, she does poop in Harley's yard, no problem. Um, okay. Well, a little late in the day for that, but Bo finally got her first beautiful dog comment from one of those girls. Um, sorry, Bo. She's been cooped up at work the whole day. So we're not on the levee right now. We're kind of off the levee, Bo. You wanna go up? Bo. Of course, maybe she never walks down here, so she's sniffing all this new stuff. That's fine. <clears throat> well, here we are at the second swimming hole. Uh, I just got a phone with my mom, and it is her birthday today. I didn't have time to, or I didn't have the gumption to get a stick, but look at this one, Bo. Uh, the brakes, oh yeah. Yeah, it's breaking up pretty good. Ready? Now, she didn't go swimming much this morning, so I want to ease her into it. Ready? Go get it! Get it, Bo! Oh no. She's lost the uh, her nerve. Maybe it's too rocky. Hey, Bo, this is not rocky right here. Bobo. Okay, we'll try again in a minute. Okay, I got her close to the shoreline and I got assembled a bunch of sticks all the time she's eating all that grass. Hey, here's the biggest stick I can find. Bo. When she was a little baby, I had to go in the water to get her to go in. I don't want to do that with my work shoes. Bobo, ready? Nothing? What'd you see over there? Here, Bo. Oh, it sunk. Okay. Bo, you want to do that one? That's not a, that's, what is that? Here, here's a better one. Ready? Ah, uh, you dog. Nothing. Hey, Bo, Bo. Huh. Well, at least I took the opportunity to tighten her collar. 
Oh, she's playing around down here. I don't think she's going to swim. And I don't want to throw her in. I don't want to traumatize her. Bo! <sighs> Nothing. It's not really that cold. This is very dis 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 disappointing. All right, how about this one? Hey, Bo. She'll easily just <laughs> kind of point at the water and get ready to go. Maybe if I throw this in the water and grab it from her. Ah, I got a bow. Hey, check it. Nope. No sticks there. Okay, we're gonna bag it, Bo.